Good morning everybody and once again welcome to my humble abode. Today what I'd like to talk about are potions. And what you need for the potions of course is a brewing stand. So let's go and have a quick look. I've got a brewing stand. I actually made one right quite a long time ago. Honestly for that. What you can do with the brewing stand, I've got some awkward potion in this you have a set of recipes so first of all let's start with awkward potion how do we make that so we need first of all some bottles have I got any empty bottles three empty bottles perfect we need to fill them up with water so the easiest way I find is to get a portable tank fill it up with water and simply right click and three now I'll have three bottles of water awkward potion effect here we go so what we need to make awkward potion I should have looked at the recipe. In fact, is uh, nether wart. Now, outside here, I have a little bit of a place where we grow some nether wart. And here it is. To grow nether wart, you see, I'm just simply right clicking these by the way, is you just put it on some soul sand. And you have to find nether wart from a fortress. Maybe you find it somewhere else. If you find it anywhere else, you can grow it on some soil sand. Unfortunately, you have to go to the nether. But oh yeah, we just simply harvest all of that. Now we have plenty of nether wart for a quite a long time to come. So quickly, well, let's go the quick way back to the workshop. What we do, I have in fact already got a barrel of nether wart. Right click that and we'll take about one. We only need one another wart for three bottles. And the most efficient way is to put the bottles of water at the top here and then just simply I'm just simply can shift left clicking and then put another wart at the top and that will start to produce a recipe. And what it will produce it will produce awkward potions. So if we click on recipes, you can see you've got gunpowder that makes splash potions. What we really want to do, you've got a potion of fire resistance, which if you have a potion of unfermented spider eye, you end up with a potion of slowness. And you've got a potion of invisibility, which is made from a potion of nausea. So on the left hand side is what you have, and on the right hand side is what it makes. So let's, what I want to do is to find the recipe for fire resistance. Power resistance is a pink one. Strength. Strength is probably quite a good one too. Oh, that's giving you just something else. Oh, here we are. Potion of fire resistance. For that, we need one Magna Cream, which is pretty good. And we could have a potion of night vision, which is a golden carrot. So, Magna Creams. Where do you get Magna Creams from? Uh, still, this is still cooking. Let's go and find ourselves a, a magna cream. In here, I probably already got one, but oh, that's interesting. Last time around this, I'd got a face for a slime. So let's just take a slime and one blaze powder. Put those together. I can do this in fact on ourselves. Don't need a workbench, and we get a magna cream. While I'm around this side, let's get one redstone. Yeah. And look at the ring. So I'm right clicking the right the bottom of this. So now we have awkward potion. So if we put the magna cream at the top of this, we'll end up with potion of fire resistance. And potion of fire resistance, of course, is very good in the nether. And it's actually very good in the twilight forest. And what I'd like to say do today which in fact to be honest with you I've already done but I'll put it a short edited version of the, the video at the bottom so if you look over here I have a set of trophies so here we have so look so it's right five I'll have to do it on an empty hand don't I so here I've a hydra trophy a lich trophy and a naga trophy well I'd got those two previously to so got the hydra trophy it was 
an interesting but quite a long fight to do that and what I did is took some uh, fire resistance with me and this is actually says here so let's put those back again it says three minutes but if we put one redstone on the top of that that will then convert these from three minutes to eight minutes which is still probably one eight minutes is actually not enough to kill the hydra it's about right but last time i did it took about 12 minutes and what i'll do is i edit the file i'll put an edited version of that file or that video on the end of this video so you can see what i did so now we have eight minutes and that's the maximum of course you can make all sorts of potions with awkward potion but they don't stack here anyway so let's put these awkward potions back in the in the AE system, get rid of them out of my because they take up quite a lot of space. So now we have the three awkward potions up here. Ah, oh, another wart. Yes, that was that one. That's that one. Is that what else? Is there anything else I wanted to talk about here? No, not really. Let's go and trundle off to the toilet first. And I shall show you where I go wrong one. Let's go down here. Now I've got the uh, the wings. Oops, too high. Not high enough. And when I upgraded last time, I upgraded and lost uh, my map points. In fact, I'm not going very fast. It's quite a long way. And here I actually died. Oh yes, I know what else I wanted to show you. Something very useful. You can use in places like this that's I think this is acid rain something nasty anyway because every time you go through it, it it hurts just as a quick proof have I got it with me let's have a look quickly hang glider yes I do good hang glider I can go much faster so just right click the hang glider and press shift Go up again. What I did here was there's some quite nasty areas in the toilet forest, and I'm just coming to one now. Did you see this red earth here? And it's usually got ash particles floating around hasn't at the moment maybe that's because I killed the uh, the Hydra and what it does is it sets you on fire in fact here is where I died so when you do I'll remove this point now I don't need it anymore because this is where the Hydra was there was a, a big archway I can't remember where it is and all of this was it looks like this is going disappearing now slightly what does it say fire swamp all right here we go and this is the hydra's house so if you see one of these you know what it is and there was another boss over here i think it was the minotaur which i also uh sorted out he was actually quite easy just getting lost but the one thing i did forget to do uh, here we have another interesting thing in the toilet forest something to be avoided actually because it produces these skeleton druids or druid skeletons i'm not sure which so i click that and go down it's a bit strange actually i'm not moving when i've got my hang glider i haven't got my jetpack on so let's take my sword Oops, let's press escape take my sword because what we'll find here is we get these skeleton druids and they shoot poison he can't get through which is good so we'll leave him there and there is a spawner and I took one of the spawners and had lots of skeleton druids at home that wasn't very comfortable right I think that's really all I wanted to say so here you go a shortened version of the the video where I die, uh, fought the hydra and didn't die until next time, bye for now.